Hey guys, what's going on? Aaron here. Welcome to the van video, crypto video of the day. I first want to start out with this from Chrissy Mashinsky. Every person that put out a false narrative or posted a paid fake review to attack American-made vendors at usastrong.io needs to be fined $50,000, period, end of conversation. All right, so this is her company, which some would argue that was funded from creditors Bitcoin and, or I should say, Celsius depositors crypto. And that's why there's a lot of people pretty annoyed. And there are 460 reviews. And you can see the rating here as 1.4. So she wants every single person to pay $50,000 who made a fake review. Now, I am not in favor of fake reviews. I don't like fake reviews. But I also think that Chrissy is not really grounded in reality right now. I'm sorry that her company that was funded by Celsius and we know what Celsius was at this point. I'm really sorry that people are really pissed off at you and that you're still creating this company and that you're getting bad reviews. I am very, very sorry. So let's talk about the ETFs, GBTC, and all this stuff. So Dylan LeClaire says, another look at Bitcoin AUM by ETF issuer after the first couple weeks of trading. Very interesting to see if strong inflows continue from new entrants once the GBTC outflows taper off. So you can see here on the green little bar, that GBTC is getting less and less every single day. And that could be one of the main reasons that we're seeing Bitcoin go back well above $40,000 is because there is less selling of GBTC. This next story I want to talk about, you can see right here, GBTC and others are aggressively advertising and this one happens to be on Bloomberg. So we are seeing advertisements for the different Bitcoin ETFs because remember, they get paid when people trade and buy because there is a fee with that. And this story is German police seized $2.1 billion in Bitcoin from file sharers. Now, the issue, in my opinion, is that this file sharing portal operated until 2013. So that means it shut down in 2013. So 11 years later, you're having a government seize $2 billion. I'm like, is there not a limit on when they could go and seize money from people or something that they think is illegal? 11 years later seems quite a long time. But regardless, that's what the German police did. $2.1 billion. Hopefully the German government realizes that they should hold their Bitcoin and not sell it like the U.S. seems to want to do. The U.S. is like, hey, we got this perfect money. Let's sell it for U.S. dollars that we can just inflate and create more of at any time. It makes no sense. And just talking about the price of Bitcoin, if the GBTC outflows become less and less, it would be great to see a new all-time high before the halving. Because historically, we do not see a new all-time high before the halving. The halving in 2020, Bitcoin was nowhere near its all-time high, about around 50% from its previous all-time high. So if we see a new all-time high, meaning Bitcoin goes around, you know, $69,000, $70,000, before the halving that's going to happen in about three months, that would be, in my opinion, incredibly bullish. And more about GBTC, the outflows have fallen six days in a row to just $190 million yesterday. So a lot of this was from FTX selling around a billion dollars worth of GBTC. Hopefully that has come to a close. At least the outflows seem like all that selling could be ending. And finally, I want to play this video from Tim Draper, who is a huge Bitcoin bull who has insane eyebrows. And I just want to play what he recently said about Bitcoin. It's a one minute video. So I, I miscalculated on how aggressive the U how you know, scared the, gov the U.S. government was running. And now they realize that Bitcoin's actually better for everyone. It keeps perfect records. It, um, you know, the, the people who they all thought were criminals using Bitcoin, turns out they were all caught. So using dollars is probably better for, um, for a criminal. <laughs> um, and, uh, so and I think that there's going to be a moment where there's a run on the banks the way after the Civil War, there was a run on uh, Confederate money and there was a run on the Greek drachma and a run on the French franc when they became a part of the euro. So I, I actually think that there will be a moment in time when I can buy my food, clothing and shelter all in Bitcoin. 
and people won't want dollars anymore. Well, that's pretty crazy. People won't want dollars anymore, and you'll be able to buy your food and rent and everything and clothes in Bitcoin, and there will be a run on the bank. I think Tim Draper has multi-billion dollars worth of Bitcoin right now. I believe he purchased the Bitcoin from the U.S. government that was seized from the Silk Road off the top of my head. So this guy has been in Bitcoin for over a decade, maybe longer, maybe longer than Simon Dixon. I'm not quite sure. But anyway, he is making some pretty big proclamations regarding the future of the U.S. dollar and also of Bitcoin. And regarding Celsius, some people are seeing this inside of their app. I have not seen this probably because I live in the United States and therefore my distribution agent is PayPal. But it says, please enter the email associated with your Coinbase account in order to receive your claim distribution. The alternative email will only be used for the purpose of matching your identity for Coinbase claim distributions. It will not impact your login credentials, nor will it be used for communications. So if you log into your account and it says this, and it wants you to enter the email that you have associated with your Coinbase account, then absolutely do it. I think that is totally legit. Right now, we are still piecing together exactly how this is going to look for distributions. Simon Dixon, I believe, shared this flowchart regarding distributions, like you will receive a claim code in an email, and then you will use that claim code to get your crypto into PayPal. I don't know if he has some inside information about this. He probably does, or if he does, I think he's probably correct. So we, I guess, still don't really know exactly how it's gonna look regarding how we're gonna get that information or how we're gonna get that crypto into PayPal or Coinbase. Here it's saying again, we will be emailed a claim code and that is how we will collect that crypto in PayPal, but we will figure that out soon. The effective date for the plan is remember on or around January 31st. So around could be whatever they want it to be. There's a lot of things that Celsius needs to check off before the effective date can become effective essentially. And I just don't know exactly how quickly they are getting everything done. Ultimately though, we are at the final end of this rodeo and hopefully I will make a video soon saying, everybody get your money off immediately. I can't wait for that video and hopefully that'll happen very soon. So that's it for the video. A little bit of Celsius, a little bit of other news happening in the crypto world. Hope you guys are doing well. Till next time, talk with you soon and bye for now.